Welcome to Brilliant Biology. Today we're diving into topic 5B1, what is ecology? By the end of this video, you should learn what is meant by the terms habitat, population, community, ecosystem, and niche, the difference between abiotic factors and biotic factors, and the meaning of biosphere and biomes. Let's begin by answering the simple question, what is an ecosystem? This is the exact definition you have to know for your exams. An ecosystem is an environment, including the organisms interacting with it and with each other, the cycling of nutrients, and the physical and chemical environment in which these organisms live. So let's take the desert for example. This will include all the desert plants, animals, organisms interacting with it and with each other, the cycling of nutrients such as water and food, and the physical and chemical environment of the desert. Now we're going to go through the terms that we have to understand and memorize. The first term we have to know is habitat. This is defined as the place where an organism lives. So for example, you can see we have this frog and he clearly lives in a lake. So the lake is the habitat. Then there's also something called a microhabitat. This is a small area of a habitat in which an organism lives. So let's take a fig wasp, for example. They live on a single fig on a tree. So that would be a microhabitat. The next term you have to remember is population. This is defined as a group of organisms from the same species breeding and living together in the same habitat. So let's take the frog from before. A group of those frogs from the same species that live and breed together in that lake are considered a population. Now there can be other populations in that lake, for example, a group of fish from the same species that breed and live together. It's just important that you remember that a population is made up of the same species. Now let's look at the term community. This can be defined as all the populations of all the different species living together in a habitat. So let's take the same lake habitat from before and we have the population of frogs, the population of fish, the population of aquatic snakes, the population of maybe aquatic plants, and all these populations together make up the community of the lake. Finally, let's look at the term niche. This can be defined as the role of an organism within the habitat in which it lives. So for example, let's take a line from the savanna. Its role is to eat meat and to be a predator to hunt other animals. So we can say that its niche is being a predator. Now let's move on to looking at the difference between abiotic factors and biotic factors. Let's start by looking at abiotic factors. These are the non-living elements of a habitat which affect the chance of survival for an organism. So for example, we have sunlight and temperature, rainfall, and even edaphic factors, which are the properties of the soil. Then we have biotic factors, and as you can imagine, these are the living elements of a habitat that affect the chance of survival for an organism. So the best example I can give is of prey. Remember the line from before, if there are not enough zebras for him to eat, he will go hungry and die. And so the zebra is a biotic factor that affects the chance of survival from the lion. And to finish off, we're going to look at the difference between biosphere and biomes. So the biosphere is defined as all the areas on the surface of the earth where living organisms can survive. And the biomes are the major ecosystems of the earth. So some examples can be the desert, high mountains, tropical rainforests, and even polar ice. And that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I've made a link in the description box with flashcards which you can use to practice this topic and they're completely free. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.